Hey, Josie. What? I missed what Miss Zimmer said about the online testing stuff. What do I need to know to take this test? Seriously? Okay, it's not hard at all. It will only take a minute. Thanks. First, you have to open the OLA site in a browser. Then, just type in your student ID and password. Now, this part is important, so listen up. Make sure to select the correct test you should be taking from the list. Got it? Yeah, I think so. Miss Zimmer is pretty cool because she always chooses to show us an instructions page to review what each icon does. Most of these are pretty self-explanatory. Like the house button takes you home, the stop button stops a test, which is not to be confused with the exit button. What does the exit button do? The exit button is important because once you click exit, it submits your test for scoring, which is way different than just stopping the test with the stop button. That is important. Exit to score. Got it. Do I click next to get started? Next will take you to the start page. Then you have to click the start button to actually begin the test. That makes sense. I told you it's easy. You weren't kidding. Online tests show us one question at a time, and the tools are up in the corner. What's the difference between the blue and green calculator? The blue one is a regular calculator, and the green one is a scientific calculator, so the teacher can choose which one to show depending on the test. That's awesome. Well, she can also choose to not have a calculator at all. That's not so awesome. I agree. So anyway... When you are done answering a question, just click Next. Simple enough. So what do the other tools do? Didn't you read the instructions page? No, I was listening to you. Oh yeah, right. One of my personal favorites is the Eliminator tool, which is the red X. It lets you click on choices to mark them out, and then the Eraser tool removes the mark if you change your mind. That's helpful to narrow down your answer choices. For sure. When you are ready to select an answer, just choose the pointer. Seems easy enough. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. What? Do not ever use your browser's back button to go back. Why not? It will log you out of your test. If you need to go back, use the back button within the test. That's good to know. Don't forget, when you finish the test, first click the stop button to see a screen showing any missing questions you need to complete and finish the test. Then when you are done, remember to click the exit button to submit your answers for scoring and log out on the next screen using the door icon. That's pretty simple. Okay, you're good to go. Time to take this thing. I hope this test is as easy as figuring out how to use online testing. Me too. Good luck. You too.